Okay, folks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run my mouth for a bit. It is very cold here, down south, South Georgia. The weather's out of whack. I can't really deal with cold. Like, I can deal with anything else. Cold messes with me, especially cold out of nowhere. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about alien technology. All right? Okay. So, all right. So, uh, I, I got a comment, a really interesting comment um, on my video. I think it's where I said the invasion already happened. And that person said that, uh, and I totally respect the hell out of, you know, the person and, and their opinion. Um, I do disagree. Where they said that, you know, this is, it's always been human, you know, this advanced technology. Uh, I think maybe they were connecting it to, like, fallen angels, but, you know. So, I did get it a little bit ahead of, ahead of myself in that video when I said this is completely alien technology. That's not taking away from some of the groups. There are groups. There are, um, there are little pocket groups, little, uh, what do they call them? Breakaway groups. Breakaway groups, breakaway civilizations, that's a real thing. That's a real, that's a real thing. Um, you've had groups throughout the, throughout, like, human cycles of civilization that have kind of just broken off and done their own thing, where they've had technology that continued on, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of the technology that we ha we are seeing, we have been seeing, it goes back to Atlantis, and there were Atlanteans that used it. Um, a lot of the light technology, a lot of the crystal technology, like that goes all the way back to Atlantis. But, again, from my, um, <laughs> from my observation, like I see these things, I see these, these, these beings, I, like I see them. Like it's not necessarily like, you know, and sometimes you have to kind of put the pieces together and like figure out like what goes where, who is who, whatever, whatever, but like I see it. Like, that's the difference between, like, you know, me, like, I'm, it's, it's not a lot of theory, because I see it, you know? Um, and actually, I was having a conversation with a friend about this the other day, and that's why I'm kind of making this video, and it's just like, you know, there's a lot to this that, and nobody ever talks about, and, yeah, it's like, the most important, one of the most important things ever that we could ever deal with right now is the fact that we are not alone on this planet. We haven't been for a very long time. But so much of what surrounds you isn't what you think it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's something else altogether. And they have trained us so well, you know, since, and that's part of the indoctrination, but like since like the 19... I'm going to say the 1940s, 50s, 60s, you know, starting with something like Orson Welles' broadcast of War of the Worlds, down to stuff like, uh, you know, just all the, all the stuff that they, 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 they put in the, the movies and the, in the media, you know, and, and some of that was true, those, those were like actual things that were, uh, being disclosed, but a lot of that was to fill your heads with a certain idea or a certain, a preconceived uh, notion of what these things are and can be, okay? One of the things is, like, they're not, again, you're dealing with technology that's super, 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 super advanced. So, you're not dealing with just nuts and bolts things. Like, you're not dealing with just uh, a saucer that's made out of metal that just flies around with it. No, it, it doesn't work exactly like that. And so many of these things that, and again, they've got us looking up all the time. It's like, it's down here with us all the time. So many of these cars. And I, I stand by this. I, I, I stick my life on this. This is, this is how, like, strongly I believe in this. So many of these cars that you guys are stalked and tormented by, they're not cars. They're not cars. They're types of vehicles, machines, crafts. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 craft. They're you know, but they're not cars. Um, some of them, and there's so many different like 
<sighs> they're different little uh, subsections or, or categories. I, don't know. I can't even talk right now. There are so many different subsections or I guess little 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 boxes to check when it comes to these things. You know, um, there are the ones that use holographic technology, right? So it could, it could literally look like I don't know. It could look like the weirdest alien thing you've ever seen, but they have a holographic cloak around it, a glamour, and it makes it look like a car, right? Uh, they have perception-based technology, which they broadcast outward, that makes you think you're seeing something when you're not. That doesn't even have to be, like, an actual, like, they don't even have to actually, like, waste the physical, uh, money, or not money, waste the physical resources on actually, like, you know, holographing the hell out of it, um, they'll just make you think you're seeing something when you're not. It's just there, it's, you know, and some of them use that, like, on themselves. You're standing next to something that's not human, and it's projecting outward to make you think that it is human, or something of the equivalent. Um, and then the last one is, uh, let's see, let's um, I mean, you've got, you've got like, uh, like this liquid metal nano stuff that exists. It's like, um, it's like, uh, think the T-1000 from Terminator. And, uh, yeah, kind of magnify that. Because see, with the T-1000, it can only turn into certain things. Like, I think this stuff can turn into anything. Um, it's just kind of a, a self-replicating type of, uh, type of metal. Yeah, you know? It's like the whole thing with gold. It's like nobody knows about what gold really does or why gold's been a thing all throughout history. I can tell you why gold is a thing, and maybe I've said this before, but, like, the reason gold's so important and the reason we've been digging for it and the reason you can go, you can take it all the way back to the crap about the Anunnaki and making humans dig for gold, it's because a lot of these, these, these beings, they utilize gold. Because gold is a trans-dimensional substance. It can traverse through dimensions, and it can be pliable in different ways. I've seen entire ships made of gold, and they can morph, and I don't know how they do it. It's like they put a current through it or something. Um, there is a video. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Maybe it's like, it's one of the basis videos. And it's this woman who's being interviewed, and she's talking about, like, the Anunnaki and all that. And she talks about, she's one of the only other people I've heard talk about the gold thing. And she claims that they use human souls to make it that way. Like, to get it to, like, to power it up or do whatever the hell they do with it. They use human souls to, like, give it that attribute. I don't know if that's true, but it wouldn't shock me compared to half the other shit, you know, all the other shit that they do. Um... Yeah, uh, you know, and, and one of the coolest, it's disturbing, but it's like, it's really interesting. So there's a video that I posted way back when of a, uh, a truck, and it was a semi-trailer, semi-tractor trailer, whatever, and it had a, a thing on the back, and from the angle that I saw it, and I'm, I'm sure I got a lot of comments, I was like, oh, that's, that's nuts, what are you talking about, that, that, that's, you're an idiot, but <laughs> from the angle that it was presented to me, I could see that it was a UFO. That's another thing that they use. They use they use our own perception against those people. Like those little weak points in our perception. They they use that, right? So you'll have a ship, this huge giant ship that's composed of all these different um, elements, and they will put it in a certain way, and uh, they'll 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 position it in a certain way. To make it look like a certain thing. So you walk by it. In your own perception. Like your depth and all that. Like we're so challenged when it comes in, in, in to certain things like that. You think it's a certain thing. But it, it's not at all. Like. One of the things I recall is. For the longest. I would go out walking at night. And a lot of times it would be cop cars. But sometimes it would be regular cars. And uh. I miss the dog. Um, I would go out at night, and there would always be, like, two cars, no matter where my path was, and, like, 
One will be facing straight forward, and the other one will be facing in my direction as far as the headlights go, right? But they'll always be like parked directly like next to each other. And I started taking pictures of them. And what I found was they weren't cars at all. They were they were ships. And you could actually connect because they're like it was like a, a ship comprised of like these energetic orbs or spheres and the lights on the cars actually corresponded to the the configuration of spheres or orbs on the ship itself if that makes any sense at all you get what i'm saying that's why these headlights they're doing a lot of things that you're not really aware of you know what i'm saying like it's it's so much deeper than we know but anyway um yeah that's that's my rant for today uh stop looking up in the sky start looking start looking next door start looking in your your grocery store parking lot start looking at the mall start looking <laughs> beside you you know on your way to work in the traffic line because that's that's where all the, the stuff is they've got us I'm, I'm not saying that there aren't you know machines and ships that are above us because there are there's a lot but there's so much more crap down here that we just don't see. Anyway, take it easy, folks.